Mwenyezi Mungu ngani? Mungu awabariki asanteni sana. Mmefurahia hiyo? Sasa ni heshima yangu kuita ndugu yangu. Wakati nilipigwa teke na Raila Musali alikuja tukaketi hapa na yeye tukisungumuza. Yeye tumetembea pamoja na tumesema whatever happens tutasimama pamoja in the interest of our people the people of Kenya. Ndugu yangu Musali wa Mudavad. <laughs> Atkak Sema Atkak 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 Alafu tutaanza kutingiza. Si namna hiyo? Eh? Ishichuma. Kama kile ya dani wa nyama. Ishichuma, ishivya. Haya, earthquake. 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 Weka mkono juu sema earthquake. 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 Asante sana. Bungoma mudibe yeri? Mudibe ramu? Muri moyo leo nimeshangaa Nimeshangaa Leo watu wa television ambia wa Kenya tusidanganyane Bungoma imewaka Tusidanganyane Tusidanganyane Asante sana Mwanzo kabisa nataka nitoe nafasi hii kubulia wananchi wa Kenya ambao wamekuja hapa na wale wanaona kwa runinga kofia nikisema asanteni sana kwa sababu tangu Jumapili wa Kenya wamekula mori kwamba hawana nafasi ya kubaguliwa na kuwekwa kwa zile silos kama za serial board hapa munapangwa silo hii maindi fulani silo hii maindi fulani silo hii maindi fulani mimi nataka niwashukuru wa Kenya kwa sababu uamuzi wa yule ambaye atakuwa rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya utafanyika tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane na wewe ndio utaamua sio wale wanakaa kwa mahoteli ya kifahari wakifikiri hao ndio wale Mungu aliteua waje kutuambia rais atakuwa nani Mimi nataka nipongeze naibu wa rais deputy president eh mnamuita hasla chief Nataka nimpongeze na wenzake wote wa chama cha UDA Nataka pia nimpongeze ndugu yangu Moses Masika Wetanguli baba wa Roma na timu yake ya Ford Kenya Pia nataka nipongeze wale wa ANC ambao wamesimama imara Eh hey, huyu Malala hata wajumbe wakinunuliwa wawili watatu yeye ni kama wajumbe kumi. Mimi nasema hivyo kwa sababu Jumapili mimi niliandika deputy president ili aje kama mgeni ashuhudie kongamano kuu la chama cha ANC. Nilifanya vizuri. Alafu pia nikaalika wenzetu wengine ambao tulikuwa tukifanya nao siasa Kalonzo Gideon
wale wote niko waalika mimi nilishangaa earthquake kumbe ilikuwa imeanza mapema ile trema ilikuwa tayari imefikia wale jamaa waliposikia deputy president anakuja kwa bombers jamaa wakaanza kutoroka mbio wakisema kwamba sitaki kupatikana hapa nikipigwa picha itakuwa bad for optics no it is not bad for optics there is nothing wrong being taken a photograph with another kenyan whether it is the deputy president or anybody else they were not running away because of bad optics they were running away because they were scared of uhuru kenyatta Nirudie. Yeah. Walikuwa wanatoroka kwa sababu sio kwamba ni vibaya kupigwa picha na Ruto na Weta. No. Hawa jamaa walikuwa wanatoroka kwa sababu wanaogopa kwamba uhuru Kenyatta atauliza mlikuwa mnafanya nini kule na nyinyi mnajua mnataka hivi. Kenyans, Kenyans. Nobody should choose our friends. Nobody. We must have freedom of association. We must have freedom of expression. And above all, we must have the freedom to choose and elect in a democratic process the leaders we want from this for this country, whether from the grassroots to the top position of the president, it must be free and fair. We cannot have a situation and my dear brothers and sisters I want to tell you this I will only spare his name but on one occasion on one occasion a very senior man in this government once told me that we cannot leave the government to somebody who is not pedigree I will repeat that we cannot leave this government to somebody who is not pedigree. Sasa nitakuja kwa Kiswahili. Nataka niulize if we have pedigree in this country when it comes to politics then who are the mongrels who are the mongrels kwa kifupi wanasema ati hatuwezi kuacha mamlaka hapa katika Kenya hii tunaweza waachia tu ngombe ya grid lakini hatuwezi kuachia ngombe ya kienyeji Yaani tumewekwa kwa category ya kisiasa kwamba kuna wengine wa grade na kuna wengine ya kienyeji. Sasa mimi nauliza Kenya hii ni ya nani? Kenya hii ni ya nani? Ni yetu sisi sote. Hebu nione kama tunaamua ni sisi sote. So we must have free and fair elections. Na hii coalition tunatengeneza tunataka iwe coalition ambaye inatambua mkenya yote whether you are a minority or a majority whether you are a woman or a man whether you are a boy or a girl whether you are uh, living with disabilities or without disabilities it must be truly a rainbow coalition a rainbow coalition 
that captures the breadth and width of the Kenyan nation. We want it to stand for freedom. We want it to stand for democracy. We want it to stand for justice. We want it to stand for equality. And we want it to stand for an economy that works for all so that Mweke Pesa Mufukoni. Earthquake! 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 Mimi, sitaki kusenda zaidi. But I want to tell you, na mimi nataka nirudi kwa waluya. Narudi kwa Western Kenya. Kuna muhandisi moja, anaitua Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. Amepata, sasa ni hasla ama ni Shakespeare. <laughs> William Shakespeare aliandika ameandika vitabu vingi lakini nataka nirudi tu kwa play moja ambayo inaitwa Merchants of Venice Mabepari wa Venice Ha? Huh? Mabepari wa wapi? Ukienda Venice siku za Shakespeare there are all forms of robbers. There are all forms of traders. There are all forms of people. There are even Shylocks. There are even traitors. Sasa mimi nataka ni ulize Western Kenya. Ndugu. Is it possible that Western Kenya is the modern day Venice? Is it possible that Western Kenya is the modern day Venice? Kwa sababu wajumbe wetu wananunuliwa kwa njia ambayo haieleweki. And I want to ask this. Kwa sababu tulipotoa earthquake Juma pili wakatetemeka Mimi nilishangaa kwa sababu for the first time wakati earthquake ilitoka tukaona makombora yanatoka kule state house Kombora la kwanza likashika Kaunya wa ANC Kombora la pili likashika Aseka Kisero Kombora la tatu limeshika Bisho Kombora lengine limeshika tindi. Kombora lengine sijui limeshika nani. Na mulindo. Jamaa huyu wa hapa ambaye tulisaidia. Kile kimenifurahisha ni kwamba yale makombora yanarushwa lakini yamelenga wale lakini wananchi wa Kisero bado wako imara. Wananchi wa Matungu bado wako imara. Wananchi wa Lurambi bado wako imara. Wananchi wa Teso North bado wako imara. Wananchi wa Kula wengine bado wako imara Butere. Kwa sababu chama sio wajumbe. Ni watu. Ni nyinyi. Ni mimi. Ni yule. Na yule washindwe. Na mimi nataka nikimalizia nirudi tu kwa historia. Mwaka Mwaka wa 1992 tukiwa Kano. Mimi nataka nihimize sana kwa wanasiasa ambao waliyumba yumba. In Western Kenya we had five defections. Moja ilikuwa Ikolomani, nyingine ilikuwa Lugare, nyingine ilikuwa Webuye, yengine ilikuwa. There were about five defections. Eh? Shinyalo. Mimi nataka ni wambie, wakati uchaguzi mkuu ilifika, wakati uchaguzi mkuu ilifika, 
wale wote ambao walikuwa wame defect kwa sababu walikuwa nafata anasa ya muda mfupi po wote out earthquake iliwamaliza na mimi nasema earthquake iende kwa hizo constituencies waone sema earthquake 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 sasa waacha ni mwalike chief hasla naye asalamiwe watu weka wimbo Aya Bungoma Mujambo Bungoma Murembe Bungoma Murimoyo Murivaramu Musangarire Bwana Yesu asifiwe Simuni salimie hivyo Bungoma nione Hey 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 Allah Naona mambo kimeumana Mukochonjo sivyo Mukochonjo Mimi nimefika hapa Kwanza nataka ni mshukuru rafiki yetu weta Na wabunge wa hapa bungoma Kwa kutukaribisha hapa ingo Nataka ni mshukuru rafiki yangu mheshimiwa Omwami Musalia Mudavadi kwa kutukaribisha hapa Ingo. Mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa Bungoma asante sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa nyumbani. Na leo tumekuja hapa kwa sababu tunataka tuunganishe taifa letu la Kenya. Watu wa Bungoma mnajua tulikuja hapa mbeleni tukaomba kura zenu mkatupatia lakini leo tumekuja hapa kwa sababu tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane tuko na nafasi ya kuunda serikali ingine mimi nimekuja kuuliza watu wa ingo jameni muko tayari tuunde hiyo serikali ama hamuko tayari mumejipanga ama nyinyi ni wakupangwa eh ate munasemaje ate munasemaje ate bungoma munasemaje Aya <coughs> Ati Bungoma mnasema hamupangwi ngwi Ndio mimi nimekuja hapa na wa ndugu zangu Unajua kuna majamaa kwa kiburi 
na madharau ati wameketi kwa mahoteli na maofisi ati wanataka kutupangia kibaraka wao mwenye atajunga maslahi yao mwenye atafanya kazi yao ati alafu watuletee atetumpigie kura mimi nawauliza watu wa Bungoma mtakubali kibaraka ya mtu wa kinyinyi mchague nyinyi ndio kuchagua ama ni wale nyinyi ndio kusema ama ni wale nyinyi ndio kuamua ama ni wale mnasema mtaamua mwaka huu wale watu wa kiburi na madharau tunawaambiaje tunawaambiaje mimi nataka niwaulize kwa unyenyekevu sawa sawa wale ambao wameketi kwa maofisi na maoteli kule Nairobi ati wanataka kutupangia ati mtu wao kibaraka wao ati yule mzee wa kitendawili mimi nauliza nyinyi watu wa Bungoma kuna watu mlituma Nairobi ati waende wapange nani atakuwa rais wa Kenya kuna mtu mlituma Nairobi so nyinyi ndio mtaamua hapa hiyo madharau na kiburi ya watu wachache tutamaliza mwaka huu kwa kura zenu na uamuzi wenu sikizeni watu wa uh, Bungoma watu wa Ingo hiyo kiburi ya watu wachache ati wanataka kutuamulia kwa madharau na waambia tafadhali wale wako Nairobi hata kama uko na pesa bilioni ngapi kwa akaunti yako kura yako ni moja kama ya mama mboga hapa Bungoma ni kweli ama si kweli ni kweli ama si kweli nasikizeni ndugu zangu watu wa Bungoma mkituona tumesimama pamoja hapa mkiona weta mkiona gashagwa mkiona mama Alice mkiona Duale mkiona Musalia Mudavadi mkiona hasla hapa ni kwa sababu tumesema kiburi na madharau lazima tukomeshe mwaka huu Muna nielewa kwa sababu tusipokomesha kiburi na madharau ya watu wachache watakuja watuitishe bibi zetu watuzalie watoto Mimi muna nielewa Mimi muna nielewa Hawa watu tukiwaruhusu ati watu chagulie viongozi nini itabaki Si watakuja kutusema, kutusema ya kwamba nyinyi muna pesa leteni wa bibi zenu tuwazalie watoto Hiyo itawezekana dunia hii ya Bungoma Hiyo itawezekana hapa Ingo Ndiyo tumekuja hapa Jameni watu wa Ingo Mukiona tumesimama hapa sisi wote wabunge moja sasa sabini katika bunge letu la Kenya tumesimama pamoja na kusema Kenya kwanza Tumesemaje Tumesemaje Tunakuja hapa Bungoma kuwauliza watu wa Bungoma jameni Munasema sote tuungane tuseme Kenya kwanza. Hebu ni wale wale wanasema Kenya kwanza Kenya kwanza. Na tunasema hivi. Tunaelewana. Tunasema hivi. Wale tunashindana na wao eti wanataka kuweka kigaragosi. Ati wanataka kuweka puppet. Ati wanataka kuweka kibaraka. Ati mwenye atalinda maslahi yao alinde maslahi alinde maslahi ama mali yao alinde haki zao sisi tunasema serikali ambayo tunataka tuunde ni serikali ambayo itajali maslahi ya kila mtu na aweke heshima kwa biashara na kazi ya kila mtu mimi nawauliza ndugu zangu watu wa Bungoma tafadhali mkubali tuungane Waswahili wanasema umoja ni nini? <coughs> Waswahili wanasema umoja ni nini? Mnasema tuungane na Weta na Musalia na Hasla na Gashagwa 
na wabunge wetu na duale na wale wote tuunganishe Kenya hebu niende wala anasema tuungane jameni na tumesema hivi tumeungana kwa sababu tuko na mpango we have a plan we have an agenda we have a vision for a nation that is united and a nation that is prosperous ndio mimi nawaambia tukiwa hapa ingo agenda yetu namba moja nataka munisikize watu wa hapa ingo agenda yetu namba one tumesema tunaweka pesa ya serikali ya kutosha zaidi ya bilioni mia moja kupanga priority number one ajira ya hawa vijana wetu wa Kenya tuko na vijana milioni ile wamemaliza shule wako na certificate diploma na degree lakini hawana ajira wanaangaika mimi nataka niwaambie kundi letu hili mlisikia omwami Musalia Mudabadi akiongea Jumapili na alikuwa anaongea lugha moja na hasla na hawa watu wengine kubadilisha uchumi wa Kenya wale tunashindana na wao wanasema ajenda yao ya kwanza ni kubadilisha katiba sisi tunawaambia hapana ajenda yetu namba one ni kubadilisha uchumi tupange ajira ya hawa vijana kwanza ajenda yetu namba two tunasema kazi ni kazi tunasema nini tunasema nini wewe mtu ya hapa ingo nataka unisikize kwa makini tunasema hata kama biashara yako ni kidogo lazima tupange ili biashara yako ndogo kesho iwe biashara kubwa wafanyi biashara wengi Kenya 80% ni wafanyi biashara wa hapa chini wanaitwa micro small and medium enterprise ni kweli ya masikweli ni kweli ya masikweli tunasema hawa wafanyi biashara wa chini wanaangaika wamedharauliwa watu wenye kiburi wanawaita takataka sisi tunasema mwaka huu hata kama ujulikani kwa bank hata kama una security ya bank tunakwambia utajulikana na serikali ya Kenya na ndio tunasema hawa wafanyabiashara wa chini wakikopa pesa wanakopa kwa mashailo wakikopa pesa wanakopa kwa fuliza fuliza imeweka watu mamilioni katika mambo ya CRB ni kweli ya masikweli ni kweli ya masikweli tunakwambia wewe mtu ya Bungoma na Kenya mwaka huu kwa mapenzi ya Mungu tunaweka pesa ya serikali bilioni hamsini kwa hazina maalum ya kushughulikia wafanyabiashara wadogo wadogo kama wewe wewe mnanielewa katika uwanja huu mimi na weta na hawa viongozi wenu in this kiwanja hapa tulikuja tukafanya arabe ya boda boda ni kweli ama sikweli ni kweli ama sikweli na tumefanya hii arabe nyingi Kenya ilikuwa nasikia bwana kitendawili akilalamika ati deputy president anatoa wapi sijui pesa sijui anatoa wapi pesa sijui amepatia boda boda milioni mbili sijui amepatia sijui wakina mama milioni mbili mimi nataka nimwambie bwana kitendawili tafadhali bwana wewe uelewi hujui mahali sisi wengine wetu tumetoka wacha kulalamika shilingi milioni mbili milioni mbili ni pesa kidogo mwaka huu tunaweka bilioni ya msini pesa ya serikali kwa biashara ya hawa watu wa chini ndio tuondoe madharau na biashara ya kila mtu yeshimike yeye mnanielewa jamaa mimi nauliza nyinyi kama tunaweza kuweka bilioni moja kwa kampuni ya Kenya Airways 
iko makosa gani tukuweka bilioni hamsini kwa biashara ya wakenya wadogo milioni kumi kuna makosa kwani mama mboga alipi ushuru kwani boda boda alipi ushuru kwani mtu wa biashara wa chini alipi ushuru watu wa wache kibirue na madharau Kenya hii tutaweka usawa na kura tutapiga kuondoa mambo ya ukabila kuondoa kiburi na kuondoa madharau tunaelewa bungoma tunakubaliana bungoma jambo la tatu tumekubaliana na weta tumekubaliana na gashagwa tumekubaliana na kina alice na tumekubaliana na umwami musani ya mudabadi ya kwamba tutaweka pesa ya kutosha kwa kilimo tupunguze gharama ya mbolea kutoka elfu sita mpaka elfu mbili na mia tano ndio tuwezeshe kila mkulima aweze kuzalisha chakula ya kutosha tuwezeshe kila mkulima aongeze mapato yake tusaidie wakulima wa chai tubadilishe kilimo ya mambo ya ngano tuhakikishe mahindi inatosha tuweke pesa ya kutosha katika viwanda ya sukari hapa ili tuhakikishe ya kwamba mkulima anaweka pesa mfukoni na chakula inafika sokoni ikiwa bei nafuu ndio kila mkenya aweze kulisha familia yake jambo la nne tunasema mambo ya universal health coverage tulisema kabla mtu ya kitenda wili ya tuletea rege na uwazimu na kisirani mimi nawaambia watu wa hapa bungoma tumekubaliana na jeshi letu hili la Kenya kwanza kwamba mwaka huu kabla ya disemba this year mwaka gani mwaka gani mwaka gani this year kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu kila mmoja wetu hapa utakuwa na bima ya afya ya NHIF wacha nirudie wacha nirudie nimesema hivi kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu kwa sababu tulikuwa tumekubaliana taifa letu la Kenya tuwe na bima ya universal health coverage before the end of this year kila mmoja wetu utakuwa na bima ya afya ya NHIF wewe utalipa kulingana na mapato yako na yule ambaye hana uwezo wa kulipa serikali ya Kenya itakulipia ili kila mmoja wetu aende hospitalini atibiwe na aende nyumbani bila ya kuulizwa pesa yeyote wangwana wa bungoma tunakubaliana wangwana wa bungoma tunakubaliana ingo fuliana la tunakubaliana hebu nione wala wanasema tunakubaliana mimi nataka niwaulize niko na maswali mawili peke yake mimi nauliza nyinyi bungoma Mzee ya kitendawili na mawe anasema anataka abadilishe katiba aongeze sijui nini afanye nini Musalia na timu yetu hii tumesema kabla hatujabadilisha katiba tubadilishe uchumi kwanza nyinyi watu wa Bungoma mnasema tubadilishe katiba kwanza ama uchumi kwanza tubadilishe katiba ama uchumi tubadilishe uchumi kwanza hebu nione wala anasema tubadilishe uchumi kwanza ndio tupange ajira ya hawa vijana kwanza na tupange biashara yenu kwanza tuwaondoe kwa fuliza tuwaondoe kwa mambo ya mshailo tuwapangie biashara jambo la pili sawa sawa tumekuwa tukipanga uchumi model inaitwa trickle down ati watu wachache wanafaidika alafu wao wanakuja kusaidia wengine huku chini hawa wa huku chini wamengojea miaka hamsini waliofaidika kule juu hawajafika wako kwa hoteli wako kwa maofisi ati wanatupangia mnataka tuendelee kungofanya uchumi ambaye inafaidi watu wachache kule juu ati mungojee hapa chini ya mjui itafika lini ama tubadilishe si tubadilishe tuendelee kungojea ya juu ama tubadilishe tuanze huku chini tubadilishe Tuanze chini ndio tupange ajira ya hawa vijana kwanza 
hapa chini ndio tupange biashara yenu kwanza hapa chini ndio tupange kilimo kwanza hapa chini mnasema tuanze juu ama tuanze chini waze chini hapa bottom alafu twende up bottom 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 wapo watu wa bottom hapa hapa nione watu wa bottom hapa bottom Uh, watu wa Bungoma tumekubaliana tumekubaliana mimi nataka niwaambie mambo mawili ya mwisho nataka niwahakikishie hawa wangwana wanajaribu kuwatisha Musalia na na Mwendezu Mweta mimi nataka niwaambie ndugu zetu watu wa viongozi wa Western Kenya sisi katika UDA wametutisha miaka ine wametuletea makezi miaka ine wamefukuza wanachama wetu kutoka chama for four years wametufukuza hata kwa chama tuliounda lakini chuma chao kimotoni tumeungana na mimi nataka niwaambie viongozi wa western don't be intimidated don't be blackmailed We have survived their blackmail, we have survived their intimidation, we have survived their threats and we are going to form the next government because we have a plan and we have God in heaven. Nyenye mnanielewa? Nyenye mnanielewa? Mimi nashangaa mzee wa kitendawili na mawe alikuwa analalamika ati mimi nimepata wapi milioni mbili ya kupatia boda boda mimi niko na swali kwa mzee wa kitendawili na mawe wewe ulikuwa unanilalamikia milioni mbili wewe umetoa wapi milioni ishirini unalipa wabunge wa western mzee wa kitendawili na mawe where have you got that money ametoa wapi ati siku hizi anatembea na pesa kwa gunia ati analipa wabunge kati ya kulipa wabunge na kusaidia boda boda kani ni ajambo jameni eh kani ni ajambo sikusaidiana na hao boda boda sikusaidiana na hao boda boda mimi nawauliza ndugu zetu watu wa Kenya vile mnaona tumeketi hapa tumeketi hapa kwa sababu tunataka kuondoa siasa chafu ya utapeli na ukora na uongo jameni leo katika taifa letu la Kenya inatengenezwa sheria sio sheria ya kushika wahalifu sio sheria ya kuboresha uchumi hapana imepitishwa sheria juzi ya kuzuia utapeli wa mtu mmoja mimi nataka niwaambie niwaulize jameni kama mtu amejulikana kwa utapeli mpaka sheria inatafutwa ili kumzuia asitapeli yule ambaye anafuata na kama mtu anaweza kutapeli kiongozi mwenzake mwananchi atapona kwa hiyo mtu kweli atapona mtu ya kitendawili alitutapeli akatapeli Musalia akatapeli welta akatapeli eh, kalonzo ametapeli kila mtu mpaka mwisho sasa imeshindikana ikasemekana wacha tutafute sheria ya kuzuia mtu huyu asitapeli viongozi wenzake hata mkitafuta sheria namna gani sheria hata kama iko sheria ya muizi awezi kukosa kuwa muizi hata ukitengeneza sheria ya tapeli ataendelea kuwa tapeli huyo mtu dawa yake ni mwaka huu tumfungie virago aende kwake nyumbani bondo na tunamwambia mzee wa kitendawili kutoka hapa Bungoma tunaelewana tunamwambia mzee wa kitendawili awache kupanga fujo awache mambo ya kupiganisha watu na mawe na tunamuomba mambo mawili We want a peaceful election in Kenya. Remove the threat of violence. Remove the threats that you are exposing to the people of Kenya. Kenyans want to make a decision out of free will in a
proper election that is free and fair. We do not want violence in our country. And we want the leader of ODM to make an equivocal announcement and commitment that he will respect the will of the people when the people of Kenya decide on the 9th of August atafunga virago aende nyumbani asitulete mambo ya vita asitulete maandamano asipange fujo na asijiapishe aende nyumbani ama ama mnasemaje watu wa Bungoma tunaelewana tunaelewana tuko pamoja mimi nataka niwaambie hakuna vile mradi puppet there is no way i want to tell my friend the president of kenya that the people of kenya rejected a project 20 years ago there is no way the people of kenya today in the 21st century can elect anybody's puppet the people of kenya are going to make a conscious decision and they will not buy the nonsense of a project from anybody including a project from the deep state and the system the people of kenya will make a decision tunaelewana jameni tunaelewana ati wanasema ati hata sisi tukishinda ati hata sisi tukishinda ati wako na deep state ati watatuibia kura mimi nataka niwaulize niwaulize watu wa bungoma nataka mtuangalie hapa vizuri nataka mtuangalie vizuri sisi hapa tunaonekana ni watu ambao tunaweza kuibiwa kura kweli hao watu watajua hawajui watajua hawajui sijui kama tunaelewana tuko pamoja tunaelewana mimi nataka niwaambie tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane mtapiga kura na mtachagua rais hawa wangwana hakuna kitu watafanya they will do nothing yenye mnanielewa they will do nothing na mimi nataka niwaambie kwamba we will make sure that this country is we will make sure that this nation does not proceed on the path of impunity that we are seeing at the moment the people of kenya are free nobody can choose friends for us nobody can allocate enemies for us we are a free nation we make choices because we take responsibility for the choices that we make tumekubaliana jameni mnasema tuungane mimi nawauliza si mimi nilikuja hapa bungoma si niliwauliza kama ninaweza kwenda kutafuta weta si niliwauliza kama ninaweza kwenda kutafuta umwami musalia si muliambia mimi niende niwatafute si tumetafutana si tumepatana si tumekuja pamoja mtatuunga mkono tutatembea pamoja si amri imetoka kwenu hebu nione wala anasema mtatuunga mkono nikisema arambe tunasema Kenya kwanza arambe arambe nikisema Kenya kwanza tunasema kazi ni kazi Kenya kwanza Kenya kwanza kazi ni kazi mbona mtaki kukumbushwa hiyo ya pesa mkoni mbona mnajua hiyo haraka haya kazi ni kazi kazi ni kazi tunawapenda sana bado tuko na wabunge wengi hapa nataka niulize ndugu zetu wabunge wakuje hapa kabla wa wabunge ngojeni kwanza eh haya wabunge kujeni haya sorry sorry haya watasema majina si ndio kwa sababu ni jeshi kubwa. Haya, huyo ni wa kwanza. Watu wa Bungoma muko? Muko vipi? Muko na network? Muko na network? Hebu ndio ni yako na network? 
Mumeona Musalia? Mumeona Weta? Ule Junet na wale wakora watapitia wapi? Watapitia wapi? Mwambie hawa kila mtu ataochukua mzigo wake mwenyewe na kila mtu atatoa habari zake mwenyewe Huyu anaitwa Mheshimiwa Kamuren kutoka Baringo South. Huyu mungwana anaitwa Mheshimiwa Serem kutoka kule Aldai hapa Nandi. Huyu anaitwa Mheshimiwa Robi kutoka Migori kule Kuria. Huyu anaitwa Meli kutoka Jiradwenu hapa Nandi. Huyu anaitwa Nyiganet kutoka kule Kericho. Huyu anaitwa Caleb Kostitan bunge wa Soi. Huyu anaitwa Mheshimiwa Sosion ambaye alikuwa Secretary General ya Walimu. Huyu mungwana anaitwa Lesonet kutoka kule Baringo. Huyu anaitwa Kapondi ni mtu wenu wa Mulimani hapa. Huyu anaitwa Nelson Havi. Mrembe. Mrembe kandi. Mgasizwe. Nyasaya mgasize. Huyo ndio president wa Law Society of Kenya na mjumbe wetu anasimama kule Nairobi. Huyu anaitwa Ngeno kutoka kule Narok. Huyu ni baba yao bwana Waitito. Ah, pokeeni salamu kutoka Kiambu. Pokeeni salamu kutoka Kiambu. Sisi wote tunaunga mkono hii muungano ya Kenya kwanza na tuko pamoja na deputy president wetu Musali Mdavadi na Weta jina wapuvue uchumi wetu vijana wazee na wamama wawe na pesa mvukoni asanteni sana huyu anaitwa Nelson Koech kutoka kule Kericho huyu mungwana anaitwa Mzee Ndiema kutoka Tanzania Bifoli wakoli wa hapa Bungoma. Huyu anaitwa Tuei kutoka kule Nandi. Huyu ni seneta wa Nandi anaitwa bwana Cherargei. Huyu anaitwa Kakai Bisao kutoka kule Tanzania. Huyu yule anaitwa si mnajua profesa? Eh? Profesa Ngome kutoka hapa kutoka hapa Bungoma. Halo Bungoma eh Bungoma Mimi ninaunga huu muungano lakini mimi ndio zote tawa Bungoma Twendine Aya huyo mungwana anaitwa Kagezi kutoka Vihiga Wafula wa Mbanda kutoka Kandui Huyo mzee wetu kutoka Busia Unajua huyo mzee wetu kutoka Busia Salimia Asante sana mheshimiwa naibu wa rais na uh, president mtarajiwa watu wa Bungoma nini maneno mawili tu mimi natoka Busia hapa jirani na naomba kwamba tuachane na siasa ya kudanganyana wenzangu ambao wameenda state house kupata handout hao na tupeli sana mimi nilikuwa mwenye kito wa wajumbe wa western na tulikuwa tukiambia rais kama mama hayambatani na hajazirisha kiuchumi ya mkoa wa western hatuwezi shikana na hao sasa wanakimbilia kitu kidogo kidogo mfukoni wakija mwarushe warudi nyuma asante na mengi ya kusema rais amenipatia kusema kidogo taachia hapo asante asante sana mzee wetu bunyasi tuko na huyu mungwana anaitwa kakai <laughs> Watu wa Bungoma hamujambo. Hamujambo tena. Tusalamiane za naibu wa rais. Mheshimiwa Weta alisema hapa ati ukisimama mbele yake anakufinya. Alinifinya hakunifinya. Kwa hivyo mwingine akikuja mbele pia tutafanya nini? Tutafinya e. Aya, niko na gavana wa Nandi. Anaitwa Mheshimiwa Sang. Niko na mama anaitwa Roslinda. 
Mkwe wa ule mtu wa nyororo Bana azifiwe Mimi naitua mama Roslinda Simiu Mze wangu anaitua Francis Atuoli Na niko ndani ndani na hasla Aya wana baraza kutoka hapa Bungoma Bungoma oe Bungoma oe Tuko pamoja mimi leo umesikia kuwa serikali iko hapa. Na sasa tuko na president hapa. Na mimi ni governor hapa. Sasa leo tubungoma iko na serikali yake hapa. Asanteni. Niko na huyu kijana anaitwa Halende, anatoka hapa Busia Matayos. Huyu mama anaitwa Waliaula kutoka Bungoma. Huyu alikuwa deputy governor wa Lusaka. Very good. Jaki Onganya Mumias West Tuko na governor wa wasingishu Bungo Marambe Arambe Bungo Mamotari Serekali meundu eje undua Mimi nataka kuambia Raila Odinga na mweshimi wa uru Kenyata Aku pendae penda nanae Uzi chukuli efala Kwa sababu wanaeza hunda serikali Wanaunda ama wawundi Tunadha kuambia Siyasa wasiweke kwa roo Wafumilie vile tulifumilia Tutaunda serikali Tarentisa Mwesi wa nane Na wakulima kenya hii Ndiyo sasa watahansa kupona Santeni sana Bas Wacha awe Uyo mama anaitua Maria Nato Anatafuta kiti ya women rep Uyo anaitua Lanya Kutoka kule matungu Uyo mama anaitua Munatuja uyo mama Sema jina Bandwe bungu manawa Hesia mlembe Rebe kama siva hii Nenye women rep Bungu makao ni kumaka kuno Aya Swin Hayanga Women Rep Bungoma County Adambe Susan Mangeni Women Rep Busia County Benche Kwanda Incoming MP Tongaren Constituency Haya Kenneth Musinaka Tongaren Nachukua Tukiti Asibui MP Vijana Faya Fonkela Fonkela Mimi naitua mwashimiwa Luko Pora Eke Murmuruos Kijana Fupi Ron Spara namba 10 ya Papa Aroma Na shkuru Professor, are you go up? Up. Fort Kenya. Mimi ni Professor Sepas Wachana, Sector wa Fort Kenya, Bungoma County. Ruko Mimura Tuko. Aya watu wakanduli jando. Mimi ndiyo sasa chara. Aya ndiyo yo. Iyo ndiyo yagu sasa. Watu wakanduli jando. Stage ya Bungoma Jamo. Mimi ndiyo gamenet kwe mboi kimbutai Mimi ndiyo nitapeleka wa mnini nyumbani Hakuna mwingine Sasa Hello Uyu ni mtoto kijana ya mamamboka Kijana ya mamamboka Mbunge wa Dongareni John Luchwala Masinde Kenya Kwanza, Manyala, Kea, Lurambi, Mwembe Vos.
simba ya kiswale kutunga mtarajio wa sherehe hiyo bwana awabariki wamtanda wote urunda haoya yupi we mbunge wa kandui kuja kwa jeu mjini hayo wa mwisho aseme nikisake kutoka likuleni